Oh, and New York Fashion Week is wrapping up, and have you ever thought about what it takes to be a model, All Dan? Right. Well, <laughs> I, you know, our next <laughs> guests know what to look for. They scout everyday people, and they bring them up to stardom. So Mary and Jeff Clark of Mother Model Management have discovered some of the country's most famous faces, like uh, Ashton Kutcher, okay, who was in college when Mary spotted him in a bar. What? <laughs> Supermodel and entrepreneur Carly Kloss who the couple scouted at a mall charity fashion show. Grace Hartzell, who has covered international editions of Vogue, was scouted while eating with her family at a cheesecake factory. Get out of town. Joining us live this morning are the founders of Mother Model Management, Jeff and Mary Clark. Good morning to you both. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Great to see you. So first of all, um, can you explain what a mother is in the fashion world and then talk to us a little bit about how you took that idea to make Mother ma Model Management? Yes, so a mother agent in the big fashion world basically is the person who discovers the new face, brings that new face to agencies and casting directors in really around the world. And then we remain with them throughout their career, um, just being their mentor, their coach, their parent in a lot of times yeah. because you know, they're young people and it's a, it's a wonderful, exciting industry, but it also has its challenges. So we, the, the naming our company mother, um, very much fits us. So yeah. how did you get started in the industry? I started doing fashion shows in Cedar Rapids, Iowa at the mall only because I liked it. Like there was no apparent reason why I would <laughs> be doing it. And then, um, long story short, I, then I started to realize, Hey, this could be a business and okay. discovering Ashton was a definite, uh, oh, yeah shift shall we say and he's still a good friend of ours and um yeah well that brings me to that question you know jeff what does it feel like right when you when you see people like an ashton kutcher right and then you watch and you're partly responsible for the launch of such a huge successful career right what is that what is that i mean I, it's how do you prepare for that it's really <laughs> uh like it's life-changing for us to know that we get to change a life like that you know um a lot of times the people that we discover don't even know that they have potential to be in this business. So it's like we open another world to them. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So talk yeah. about the whole scouting process. Like what's your, what's your trick to finding that one person, you know, they say, or they have the it factor. How, yeah. how do you spot them? Well, first of all, you just are always looking as we are raising our kids. You know, like if we were at a basketball game, they would go pay attention when I'm playing, but then in the other time, you can look <laughs> around the place. So, you know, you're just always looking for that person that stands out mm -hmm. um, because we focus on fashion, height plays a part okay. of it, but mm -hmm. just something that's interesting and unique about the person. And when you, we've been doing this for 25 years, now it just seems like second nature to mm -hmm. us. Like everyone knows when we're about to scout someone. Yes, <laughs> well, you know. Just get like a weird look on her face or something. <laughs> I don't oh. know. What do you think? You think we have what it takes? Oh, I'm short. <laughs> oh, game oh, over. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we were waiting, we were waiting to the end to to bring it up. Sign. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I've been hanging out at the Cheesecake Factory all my life. So, <laughs> you know, uh, you're both based in the Midwest. You've discovered some huge names from the Midwest. What is it about that area? Should I move? I'm from the Midwest. So <laughs> that's right. Oh, well, that's great. Um, I don't know. I just think there there is like a natural wholesome. A wholesome oh, I was going to say wholesome. All American yeah. thing there. But you, I, interestingly, now we've been scouting a lot in the South too yeah. and finding people. Um, we even found somebody in quarantine working at a grocery store with him. She had a mask on. Oh my gosh. We're still going, well, everything seems like, <laughs> so that was the first person that we discovered wearing a mask. Wow. Wow. That's fascinating because, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I have to live in New York City or yeah. I have to live in L.A. in order to get discovered. But you are right. proof that you don't have to live in those places. So what advice would you have then for any aspiring model uh, that wants to make it in the fashion world? Uh, number one would be yourself. You know? mm -hmm. So important to be yourself. Be yourself. Um, now with social media, we, no one wants to see you filtered and mm -hmm. altered. They want to see your natural. I think sometimes, especially now, people 
young people don't value just how they look just yeah. naturally. So that's really important. And also be hesitant, you know, really check out people's track record. We get submissions online hundreds and hundreds all I'm the sure. time. So now it's it's easier because you can access or just follow on social media and mm. learn a lot. We have a, a, a page at Model U and it's just there to help aspiring models yeah. learn more. So, um, and that, that's what yeah. I love about what, you know, how you kind of discover people because they're not all like dolled up, right, per se, because you're finding them kind of like in in there, you know, just hanging out in at a Cheesecake element, Factory yeah. or wherever it may be at the supermarket, like you said, the grocery store in quarantine. And I think there's this false narrative of like what is on <laughs> social media all the time, right, with those filters and the ability oh, yes. to kind of alter your own image. We would rather see a young person that just got done with basketball practice Aww. walking out looking like a kid, looking like, you know, who they are. And I think that that's been a really beautiful shift mm -hmm. in our industry. That it's very important to maintain who you are as a person. And yes, it's harder. It's distracting if there's a lot of makeup or filters yeah. are like our worst nightmare. <laughs> because right. You don't even end up looking like you. And <clears throat> you're much better being 100% yourself. Yeah. Well, that's great advice. Can't we, stand filters. I, I know, me neither. All right, well, Jeff and Mary, thank you so much for being with us this morning and, and giving our aspiring models in our viewing audience some really valuable tips.